YouTube has changed a ton in the past few months, and honestly, I forgot about all the changes they made until I went through Team YouTube's Twitter, and man, did that bring back some memories. Like, who doesn't miss live sub counts? I know I do because, like, I recorded videos on that for months. Anyways, all these changes weren't exactly enjoyed by the community, but hey, it's for YouTube's greater cause, right? But the issue with changing live sub counts and getting rid of the verification badges was that it caused problems all over the platform, like a ridiculous amount of bugs. I can say with confidence that we've had more YouTube bugs in the past month than any other month in the years. And if you don't believe me, just look at all the videos I have created over YouTube bugs just in the past few months. Yeah, it isn't so pretty. Anyways, if you want to go through memory lane and be reminded of all the ridiculous bugs and screw-ups that YouTube has made over the past few months, make sure you stick around. It isn't like you have anything productive to do anyways, right? So you might as well just watch this video, please. Before we start, I'll be giving a shout out to the first person who can find this picture hidden throughout this video. To win, just comment the time the image shows up again in the video and whoever does this first will be shouted out in my next video. So make sure you stick around and watch so that you can win the shout out. Okay, so first let's talk about all the major changes and why they made them. Because we need to be reminded of how ridiculous some of these changes were. Okay, so first we got the obvious one, live sub counts, like who in the right mind gets rid of this? Every creator enjoyed seeing this number change before their eyes, but YouTube saw this as bullying, somehow. And well, at this point, you're probably scratching your head and wondering how that even makes sense, but yes, they got rid of it for that exact reason. Bullying. Basically, people like me, YouTube Battles, and Statistic Wars, and many other accounts, we all created videos on sub count battles where we recorded videos of YouTubers passing other creators and subscriber counts. And well, YouTube saw this and the T-Series vs PewDiePie situation and bam, no more live subscriber counts. So that was their wonderful reasoning behind that, now let's look at an even worse change. And I bet you thought it wasn't even possible, but hey, YouTube did it for you. YouTube decided to get rid of the verification check marks. Yeah, you know that thing YouTubers all work so hard to get for that clout? Yeah, well, apparently, they wanted to get rid of this feature to make impersonations less common on YouTube. And to do this, they got rid of a ton of verified creators, making it much more difficult to see if someone is legit or not. Hmm, this seems a bit weird, right? Like, the fix made the problem worse. The exact problem that they were trying to stop was actually created worse by this change, and it literally just makes no sense. And a ton of people were upset with it and YouTube gave it back temporarily just because they were getting so much hate on it. They did have some more reasoning for getting rid of the check mark, but I have a whole video talking about that and I don't want to bore you guys with having to watch that again, so let's get to the mayhem that all these changes caused. All these changes required new code to be put into the website and well after the first change on YouTube where they got rid of live sub counts, we had a ton of issues everywhere. And one of the biggest issues was when all of the bigger YouTubers had zero subscribers. This was a huge disaster. If you check PewDiePie's channel, he legit had zero subscribers. And it was isolated, so some people still had subscribers and some people didn't. Basically what I'm trying to get at here is the fact that I had more subscribers than PewDiePie for a day. Anyways, the most humorous issue I remember was when YouTube was so broke that you couldn't upload a video. And this is still a problem to certain people. Like I still get comments on this video that I posted and people are telling me that they still can't upload and this is like a month later. YouTube was literally so messed up that you couldn't save changes to your video during the upload process so you couldn't update it from private to public or change it to be monetized or add thumbnails and basically everything was just broken. And some people legit couldn't even get that far. So the whole purpose of the site, that being able to upload videos, was broken. You would think that a billion dollar company could do better. Sigh. And on top of all those issues, YouTube had another issue where for some people, the site was showing videos in a list versus a normal grid view. So once again, the site was not behaving the way it should. So all of these issues, have been caused because code has been changed and added to the site. And this code was not wanted or asked for. YouTube just decided to make these changes even if the creators did not want them or like them. So overall, the creators paid the price for these changes that they did not even want. And it is just crazy to think about. It just seems clear to me that YouTube doesn't think with their creators in mind. 
which is so sad because without these creators that upload on their platform, YouTube wouldn't be anything. No one would care about the platform. The creators who keep people coming to the platform are what make the company so successful, and it appears to go unnoticed half of the time. And YouTube does do some nice things like sending out subscriber plaques and stuff like that, but that seems to be it, and other than that they don't seem to value their creators as much as they should. You can even see this in YouTube Rewind, like they don't even invite PewDiePie into it anymore because of past controversies that we probably all know about. And he's one of the most popular YouTubers out there. And PewDiePie has probably made millions and millions and millions of dollars for YouTube, and that's how they respect him, by not even inviting him to a video for their site. So my last main point with all of this is about the Peace Corps situation. This whole thing goes to show how YouTube does not seem to respect creators. So I don't want to bore you with hearing this again, so I'll make this brief. Basically YouTube created a thing called Peace Corps, which rated YouTubers on these five categories, popularity, platform, passion, protection, and production. All of these created your Peace Corps, and we did know this existed, but YouTubers found a way to actually find your specific Peace Corps, which was great so you could see if you needed to improve in one of these categories. The YouTubers brought it up to the public and kinda exposed YouTube, and YouTube immediately, within two hours, hid this number. They were not using it in a bad way, they were just trying to be helpful to creators, but YouTube hid it. Why? Well, I have no idea. I guess they just don't want us to succeed easily, because honestly, I don't see any other reason why they would remove it. I feel that P score should be in YouTube analytics, but YouTube won't even let us see it through code. If the P score was in your analytics, people could see how they could improve in these specific categories. These YouTubers also found the hidden rating system that YouTube uses to throttle videos, and this too was helpful so you could see how your videos were being viewed by YouTube, but once again, YouTube hid this feature. So if this doesn't show you how YouTube lacks respect for creators, then nothing will. Really goes to show that YouTube needs to work on their relationships with their creators on their platform. And especially for the smaller creators, because the only thing they do to smaller creators right now is suppress them and give them issues to deal with on the platform due to their updates that we did not even want. Anyways, I say all this to conclude that YouTube has been a mess lately. I think their site operated more smoothly when it was first released compared to the past few months. I mean, geez, how could so many things go wrong on one of the biggest websites in the world in just a month or two? And these issues lasted for days, but you know what issue did not last longer than a couple hours? When their P-score got leaked. That got covered up in hours. So you can see where their priorities lie. I love YouTube and I've been a part of the platform for 6 years, and it has done great things for me, but I still never once really felt valued by the platform besides by fans, never YouTube itself. So YouTube, if you're watching this, I say all this because I don't feel valued, especially after hearing how you throttle videos, which is most likely what happens to most of my videos, especially ones like this where I rant about the platform. So that is why I started recording longer videos, to increase my P-score to avoid throttling, and not just because I want more money, but it just helps the channel out. So you can go ahead and stop typing that in the comments right now because I'm not just recording this for more monetization. So what are your thoughts? Let me know down below. I would love to continue the conversation down below with you guys. And if you want to help support my channel, make sure you interact with the video by either liking it, commenting, or sharing. Oh yeah, and for those few subscribers who enjoy disliking my videos, go for it, because it still helps show interaction on my videos. So hopefully one of you were able to find that image again for the shoutout, and if you forgot about it, go back and look around three-fourths of the way through the video, and that was totally not a hint of any way. Anyways, I'll see you guys on my next cringy video.